who can see these divine favors descending upon him day in and day out. And not a day's, day goes by when those favors are not there and those favors are not visible for us to see. Allah Ta'ala said to us a Muslim of the Salatu was Salam, I shall cause thy message to reach the corners of the earth. Allah chose this Khalifa and his divine Khilafat to reach the message to Galway. And during the Khilafat of Hazrat Khalifa al Masih Khamet, the mosque is being built here. And it's a sign for us to live here in Galway that Allah is fulfilling the prophecy of Prophet Muhammad in the time of this Khalifa. And not only has a Muslim Muhammad was divinely appointed, but this Khilafat is also divinely appointed. And is fulfilling the promise given to his son, Mirza Sharif Ahmed Sahib. You sit in our place, now I go. And this Khilafat, and this Hazrat, our beloved Khalifa is fulfilling that prophecy by the grace of Allah. Other achievements are so visible to see. Hazur, by the grace of Allah, is opening mosques, laying foundations of mosques, almost every month. Mosques, as we know and we've experienced here, are not easy to build. But it is the blessed Khilafat, it is the blessed Khalifa who's driving this and he's making sure that these mosques are being built as houses of worship of Allah. And the message of Islam and Ahmadiyyat is spread throughout the world. Hazur is a great champion and defender of Islam. When in 2006 there were cartoons published in the Danish newspaper. Other Muslims, what they do? They go out and burn tires. They destroy their own property of their friends and neighbors. And if we were not Ahmadis, we might have been tempted to do the same. But what does our Khalifa do? He guides us in the right way how to behave to those cartoons. He gives series of khutbahs on blessed role model of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He tells us to go out and tell people how Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam behaved, and not to behave completely in the opposite way. And it's because of khilafat that we have done so. Otherwise, we may not have been so fortunate. Hazur is a great champion of peace as well, as we all know that. In 2004, Hazur started the Peace Symposium. In 2009, the first peace prize was given. These are not just symbolic. These are to actually promote peace and, and harmony in the world. And they are having an effect. Hazur has made sure that he's written letters to almost every good leader or big leader in the world to avoid disaster that's looming. Hazur Ayyadullah Ta'ala bin Asri Aziz has spoken on Capitol Hill. He's spoken on EU Parliament. And he's spoken in the UK Parliament. In the hundred years history of the UK, Jamaat, first time the Deputy Prime Minister attended one of the functions and one of the lectures of Hazur. Allah is showing his divine favors day in and day out. And we cannot deny that. Also, as we all know, Hazur is the great grandson of Hazrat Musa Maud A very interesting thing that happened in December 2011 was that the great grandson of a very big opponent of Hazrat Musa Maud Dr. Henry Martin Clark, he met Hazur. I'll narrate what Abdul Bath Sahib has written in Review of Religion, page 58 to 59, published May 2013. He writes, when he met 
Mr. Joel and Martin Clark, the great grandsons of Dr. Dr. Henry Martin Clark. He writes, to witness this meeting was truly a faith-inspiring experience. To think that there was a time when Dr. Henry Martin Clark had left no stone unturned to oppose the promised Messiah, alayhi salam, creating obstacles in his way. And yet today, a number of his own progeny had come to visit the promised Messiah's successor and was overcome by spiritual enlightenment. Jolin, Jolin Martin Clark, when he was told about his own great-grandfather and how he opposed his Muslim of Islam and how as a Muslim of Islam and his progeny has spread to the corners of the earth and how his Jamaat is spread to the corners of the earth and how successful the Jamaat is by the grace of Allah. He said, Mr. Jo Jolene Martin Clark remarked that while people do not even know the name of Dr. Henry Martin Clark and other missionaries of his time, the promised Messiah Islam and his community who initially faced so much opposition have succeeded in attaining such great heights. Alhamdulillah. This is from, this is from someone who is a great grandson of a person who tried to frame Hazrat Muslim Islam for his own murder. And this is testimony that not only Hazrat Muslim Islam was successful by the grace of Allah, but today his great grandson is getting recognition from the opponent's great grandson that you have succeeded and we have lost. There is a hadith narrated from Bukhari. And I'll read part of it because time is short. And it's narrated by Hazrat Abu Huraira. Hazrat Rasulullah Pak Sallallahu says that Allah says, My servant draws not near to me with anything more love to me than the religious duties I've joined upon him. And my servant continues to draw near to me with superiority works so that I shall love him. When I love him, I am his hearing with which he hears, his seeing with which he sees, his hand with it which he strikes, and his foot with which he walks. Today that man that Allah, is, Allah has made his beloved, is our beloved Khalifa, the Khalifa al-Masih. When that Khalifa says something, it becomes fate. And when that Khalifa says something, it becomes Allah's will. I'll give you one example. Daniel Daud Sahib writes, I had been searching for work for almost one year and four months and did not find it. I moved to Galway in April 2010 and got married in July of that year. When I had mulaqat with Hazur, meeting with Hazur, after asking a few questions, he asked me if I was working. I told him I don't have a job. Hazur said, Ho jayegi. It will happen. Anil Saab says, I had been searching for a job a year and four months. And soon after Hazu said those words, I got a job and I was able to support my family. And he says that I have been working ever since. We all have witnessed those things. When Hazu has said something, and it has become fate and it has happened. And by the grace of Allah, these are divine favors that are happening on this Khalafat as they have happened on Khalafat that have gone before them. I'll end my speech with this prayer. That, O oh Allah, we are very humble servants of our Khalifa. But you have promised to your Masih that, Inni maaka ya Masroor. O oh Masroor, I am with you. But, O oh Allah, help us, make us so that we are obedient to his Khilafat and obedient to him. And obedient to you, o Allah, that we can say, Inni maaka ya Masur, O Masur, we are with you, with our heart, with our obedience, and we are your helpers, inshallah. <laughs>
topic the responsibilities of husband and wife towards each other. And that would be by Shazad Ahmad Malik Sahib. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما مكرر مطر مديد الشمس هب مركز نمايندا مركز أور ميري نهاية موزز بايو وبهنو خاک صاحب کو آج اسلامی تعلیمات کے ایک اس پہلو کے اوپر چند گزارشات آپ کی خدمت میں پیش کرنی ہیں جن کا تعلق ہم سب کی زندگی سے نہائیت گہرا ہے اور اس کو نہ سمجھنے کے نتیجے میں یا اس پر صحیح عمل نہ کرنے کے نتیجے میں بے شمار گھر برباد ہوتے ہیں بے شمار زندگیاں اجڑ جاتی ہیں اللہ تعالیٰ نے ہمارے اوپر حضرت محمد مصطفیٰ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے ذریعہ سے یہ احسان عظیم فرمایا ہے کہ ہمیں زندگی کے ہر پہلو پہ رہنمائی عطا کی اور پھر خود آن حضور صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے اپنی زندگی میں ان تعلیمات کو جاری کر کے ہمیں بتا دیا کہ یہ ممکنات میں سے ہے پھر ہم احمدیوں کے اوپر خصوصی طور پہ اللہ تعالیٰ کا یہ خاص احسان ہے کہ اس نے حضر مسیح معود علیہ السلام کو مبوس فرما کر آن حضور صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ہی کی تعلیمات کو ہم پر مزید کھولا اور رہنمائی کا یہ سلسلہ حضرت مسیح معود علیہ السلام کی برکت سے پھر اب خلافت کی شکل میں ہمیشہ ہمیشہ کے لیے ہماری زندگیوں میں جاری ہو چکا ہے ہر ایک دینی 